Hello, hello, hello there, beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel, Peace Within 111 Tarot. I am your girl, Heretta, and we're going to get straight into this pick a card reading for this November new moon. So, those who chose this beautiful citrine cluster, pal number one, let's see what we have for you. I already did shuffle, so we're going to start from the very beginning. So, a answer to one of your questions that you've been wondering there will be a peaceful resolution. So let go of all doubts, fears, worries, and concerns that's no longer serving you, that's causing blockages within your root chakra. Let it go, okay? Because a peaceful resolution is happening. Even though it might not look like it, it's on the horizon. The citrine is going to give you the confidence for that solar plexus energy to believe and trust that it's all going to be resolved in divine timing more fire energy you relate to that solar plexus the ace of fire knowing through this peaceful resolution an exciting new opportunity is coming which may be advancements in your career so it's time for you to change your life this whole year of 2021 has been about change hopefully you have utilized this energy and have brought different type of changes into your life may it be your personal life or your career change is on the horizon and new opportunities being birthed from those changes that you've made over the time okay next we got that 10 of winter which is another one we had ace which is a one you break down the 10 it's a one so one is a representation of new a representation of new beginnings and this is a new moon capitalize off this energy okay all right so i can't make this up can you read that the resolution of difficulties. And we just had peaceful resolution. Divine, you better show out, okay? <laughs> I don't know why I get shocked every time I do these things, but I do. Like, these cards never cease to amaze me. Being a channel with the divine never cease to amaze me. This is just beautiful. But know that a resolution of difficulties is coming, a weight lifted off of your shoulders, the end of an addiction or codependency. Mm -hmm. Standing up on your own two feet. I didn't even know when I chose this crystal that this was going to be about, you know, the strength that you have, overcoming some things so that new opportunities can come. Last but not least, we got heal. Okay. This is a healing season in 17, which is an eight, and it's all about abundance again. Like, just open, letting it go, because that weight has come off of your shoulders. All right, let's do a clear divide. Anything else with these? So especially in this winter season, when it is time to hibernate, Mm -hmm. It's time to go within and figure out all the areas that are in need of healing, especially anything related to codependency on friends or family members that, you know, you just y'all feed off each other. And it's unhealthy. OK, codependency is unhealthy, especially when I see it in relationships like that. OK, divine. Thank you. Thank you. Especially if you have been in a trauma-based relationship like you talk about your trauma and then they talk about their trauma and you're like oh my god let's be together we done been through some things together that is codependency that is not healthy okay so okay yeah this is very clear for someone so if you've been feeling like this ain't all i thought it was going to be and you're afraid to exit from the relationship, guess what? That person may be feeling the exact same thing, but a peaceful resolution is on hand. You done got two resolutions of difficulties coming together. So if this, if I'm talking about you and you are ready for to um, cut ties with this codependent relationship or friendship, it is time to do so because your life is changing and you are evolving. And as you do that, you are healing and new opportunities will be coming your way. All right, pal number one, if you enjoy this reading and you're interested in your own divine guidance reading, please visit my website, Peace Within 111, which is below. Tap the link and I'll see you later. All right, peace.
Hello, hello, hello there, pal number two. Those who chose this beautiful amethyst cluster, let's see what we have in hand. All right, pre shuffle these cards. Yay, hello, hello, hello. Big happy changes are on the horizon. Yes, you've been listening to the divine guidance and it's like celebration, it's time to celebrate because big things that you did not see coming are about to enter your life. Hello, you've been manifesting, honey. You've been manifesting and now it's time to receive your due diligence. Uh huh. Because the thing about manifesting is, you know, people give up too soon. So if you've been whole and strong with that vision of what you want in your life, the big happy changes are happening right now in this 2021, which is all about change anyway. If you add all those numbers together, 2021 is five. Five is all about change. All right, next reiterating those big happy changes can you see that down there abundance three of fire that fire energy is ignited okay sorry i just came on okay i shouldn't be saying that right now anyway uh abundance things look very good have patience at this time make long-term plans so again the patience comes up like i said manifestation takes time but you've been patient so therefore you are going to be rewarded I'm proud of you. Yes, yes, yes. Anything else with this? Ah. Dragons may, if you if you start, to, I believe in spirit animals. Like, you know, you get certain messages. You might see a certain animal and you be like, yo, why do I keep on seeing this animal? Because that's the animal you're going to get a message from. So you might want to look up the uh, things related to a dragon. The spiritual represents spiritual meaning of a dragon. All you got to do is Google that. Google dragon spiritual meaning and see if that resonates with you. Okay. So next we have the Prince of Spring. So with these big changes and happy, happy beginnings and um, <laughs> the abundance is coming in. It's time for you to take immediate action and take on a new challenge because you will succeed from it. As well as you may be starting some type of passion, a passionate relationship or some type of passion with your career. And things around you may be char charming. You might, your self-confidence may be arising. You might become a little bit more passionate, but with that passion becomes restlessness. So make sure that you have balance between the two. And this red is sticking out. So it's letting me know that you really, really need to be grounded. But as you are receiving these big changes and this, ha this abundance, you need to share the love. Mm-hmm. Share the love. As you receive, you have to give. There's no other way. That's the way the cycle re uh, continues. It's the, yeah, it's the law of the universe. As you receive, you shall give. As you give, you shall receive. Okay? So you have to continue with that cycle. So again, big happy changes is on the horizon. Nothing but abundance, especially uh, related to your career. If there might be a challenge that you've overcome, remain patient within yourself. And when you get that big old bonus or whatever it is, that breakthrough, make sure to share the love with others. And it don't just have to be financially. Let's be clear. You don't have to just give to others financially. You can give advice. You can give insight. You can give guidance, whatever it may be. Giving is not always monetary. Okay, I just felt like I need to say that for somebody. <laughs> if you enjoyed this reading, please, and you're interested in your own divine guidance reading, visit my website, peacewithin111.com, which is located in my description box. And I'll see you next time. Peace out. <laughs> all right hello hello there pal number three those who chose this beautiful selenite crystal yes 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 let's see what your message is so you need to talk to your angels about some things ask your angels they are so willing to help us. All we got to do is ask. You feel like you are very alone in a certain situation or area in your life right now. And your angels are like, please ask for help. Ask for help, baby. We can get you up out of this. <laughs> 
like for real ask for some help from your angels as well as your spiritual team and those around you it's it's, it's not a weakness asking for help okay we we need guidance sometimes yeah 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 next we got the king of water so when you ask your angels know that they are going to be trustworthy they will guide you exactly but you make sure that you are listening because the signs that we see from our angels you know it's like a whisper it'd be like hmm I should apply for that job. Nah, nah, you go to something else. But no, that little idea of applying for that job, you should have did it. So anyway, trust and believe the guidance that you are going to receive after you ask your angels for whatever you need and allow yourself to have compassion for yourself and open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy, heartfelt advice may be coming in. You also might wanna start, it's the holiday season. You might also want to um, do a little bit of charity work or volunteering or something to assist with the balance as you are going to be receiving some things Because the angels are going to answer. Whatever you're going to ask them, they're going to answer you. So, but honor the things. Hmm, okay, Spirit Divine, help me, help me get a message for you. Okay. Very clear. All right. So, what you ask your angels for, they will most definitely answer that prayer but you have to do your part of gosh divine god why is this so okay where am i you you have to do your part oh i'm having so much um there we go okay I'm sorry, I've never had it happen like that. I'm like, the spirit's like, be very clear. All right, so your angels are going to help you. I'm gonna have to edit this. Oh, there it go. Okay, so your angels are gonna answer you, but it's gonna be on different levels of, your mental game is going to change as well as your emotional. So, oh, there you go. Okay, you might have an overturn of your heart. One, things that you might have once felt are maybe doing a flipperoo because you are going to change. Like whatever major thing you are asking your angels to help you with is going to shift the whole direction for your life. Woo! That was hard to get out. I, okay, okay. So that's why it's important for you to do your charity work, to express the gratitude for what the angels have given you. Hello. How long did it take to get that memo out? Thank you, Divine. <laughs> okay, I never had that happen. That was very, okay, sheesh. It had me sweating up in here. All right, next. <laughs> We have that six of winter, that six of winter. Positive changes are on their way. A welcome relief from troubled times, traveling or possibly relocating. Maybe that's why I brought up applying for that job. If you've been ready to just transition, just to start afresh, start anew, why not do it now? Ask your angels for help. If you want a change in your career, if you want to relocate, whatever it may be, ask your angels for help, but make sure when they bless you, that you give to someone else, okay? Okay, yes, very clear on that. Because this person is floating. They're floating like, yo, I have everything that I need. And it's a welcome relief for troubled times. So if you've been going through some things and you're like, oh my God, when will it end? Ask for the ending to stop now. Ask for it to end right now and that you're ready to start anew. Tell your angels, be very clear. Like I talk to my angels like I talk to anybody else. I am, I, it's not no, oh, angels, I need y'all to do this, that, no. No. <laughs> I am very clear like, angels, I need this income to come in so I can invest in this, that, and the other, okay? This is what I want to do with what I'm asking for, okay? You can't just be asking and not have a vision of what you want to do with it. I'm just saying. All right. So after you get over these troubled times, nothing but joy and stability will be coming your way. Number four, a foundation, a new foundation, because these changes that are coming your way is ushering a whole new 
foundation. Like I said, things are going to change. It's going to be like an upside down flip. Maybe not a whole 360, but at least a 180 degree, okay? So, sorry about the delay of getting that message out, but I hope that you receive it. If you're interested in your own divine guidance reading, please visit my website, peacewithin111.com. It's in the description box, and I'll see you next time. Peace.